I was thinking, what game do I really want to play? Oh, please work. What's going on here? I was thinking, what game do I really want to play? And the answer is, I want to play some fucking Diablo 1. So I'm going to do that. I was thinking I'd uh, just see how I far I can get on um, sort of my good looks and my charm. So that's that's my goal. I think... Um, okay. I, this is, again, one of the games I've played the most in my entire life. So I was thinking about a build that would work potentially pretty well without much um, gear involved. So I'm going to go Fire Claws Bear. I think that this skill kicks most ass, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go for that. Throwing weapons, if I recall. I don't know if this is an actual base game or one of the several hundred mods I've played for this game over the years, but uh, I think throwing weapons sell for a lot of money. Oh, shit. I think things are going to be better for us once we have some spells, but right now, not great. I do love this game, but already I'm like missing some of the beautiful quality of life changes that Diablo 3 brought. This is a much better game, as far as I'm concerned. But Diablo 3 has this little uh, helper dude who runs around and picks up all the gold drops for you. Lovely stuff. Fuck. All right. So we need we need this eventually, obviously. But we don't really need it till we're level what, 18? So maybe it would just be smarter for us to focus on the synergies. So, okay, this all the synergies are the fire claws receive bonuses for shit, right? So 22% extra fire damage each level is pretty good. It costs a lot of mana, though. I don't know. Maybe we should um, just turn into a werewolf first. I'm not really sure what the best idea for disturbing my stats... Oh, shit, we attack so slow. I don't know what the best idea for disturbing our stats is. gonna hold off on doing that for a while. Most of my experience in this game is playing on Battle.net. Like, I, I, I know I'm doing that now, but I'm trying to do like the whole solo self-found thing, right? So I'm obviously gonna have to distribute my stats a little less optimally than I would normally like to do. Like the, it's, it's not gonna be a PvP build, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like the zero of everything except for man, or uh, stamina, health? are called vitality. Hey, how's it going? Doggy's pretty accurate at the moment too. Check that shit out. Where is the shaman? I got my air conditioner going in the background. If it sounds too terrible, let me know and I'll just suffer in heat instead. This is not the remaster. Not at all. This is just me playing straight up old Diablo because I'm rem I, I missed it. And it's been, like, yeah, most of the time I've played this game, I played it a fuckload. But most of the times I've played it, it's been um, 
online where you just kind of get rushed through when you don't actually play through the campaign. So I'm going to do that instead. Without outside help. Like, I'm online right now. <laughs> I'm online right now, but there, I'm, I'm in a game where there's only one, like a limit of one person, so no one can join me. At the moment, anyway. I played this game so much once, like I got a headache from playing it, but I didn't stop playing until I was like physically weakened from how badly my head hurt. And uh, I still, looking back, I think that was the right move. Okay. Let's see if Firestorm Outclass is turning into a fucking... Yeah, I think that's better than turning into a wolf at the moment. I think it's both. I think this game is both fun and addictive. Although, I think it, it depends on who you are. Like, I like grindy bullshit, and this is kind of just that. I also know Blizzard it has like a whole bunch of evil things they do to make you keep playing their games. With like, a, just fucked up psychology shit, and I... I know that, but it still makes all the little, you know, bells and whistles in my brain go boop de boop or whatever, so I do it. And I like it. Fuck. No! Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I could see uh, this game being compared successfully to Cookie Clicker. I still do love it though. This build in particular that I'm, I want to go for is pretty fun. Uh, I'm eventually just gonna smack the shit out of the shit as a bear, a big old fire bear. W, yeah, W to change items. Fuck, I need arrows. I forgot that this game was a dick like that. All right, there's three guys left in here. This is definitely one of them. Okay, we'll come back to him. We'll look for the other guys first. We got some scrolls at Town Portal. <laughs> I haven't ever actually played Cookie Cutter, but I think... I think I don't have to. Yeah, it's literally just clicking. I guess this is too, but you have to um, find better items along the way. Okay, now speaking of better items, now that we have a bow, we can go fuck this dude up. Hell yeah, a hat. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, the amount of time I've spent in this game over the course of my life is upsetting, but I've, I've enjoyed it most of the time, like, it's, especially when this game was, like, big and people were playing it a lot, there was a really cool active PvP scene that I was a big fan of, and, uh, there was a huge social aspect to it, too. This game, I think, now is just bots, but it didn't used to be, you know. People people used to play. Okay, cool. So we're done here. I'm not going to bother um, teleporting back to the camp. We'll just we'll go back when we hit the next waypoint. Those scrolls are like 100 gold. We don't have that kind of money.
Fuck your quill rats. Alright, these are also pretty valuable if I remember. I don't know. Before I could even play this game online, I had to like look up like 14 different things to figure out how the fuck I'm supposed to get back onto the regular servers. Last time I played it, this game was like six years ago, and I guess I was trying to play on some weird server with my friends, so there wasn't even an option to go to like US West or anything. It took, um, it took a lot of reading like 12 year old forums to figure this shit out. It's worth it because now I'm in the cold plains. Oh wait, we should. I guess we should um go turn in that quest. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll just dump another skill in here for now. In one of the more recent patches to this game, they, uh, they introduced this item that lets you reroll your stats. Oh, Diablo 3. Diablo 3 was a... Well, what stage Diablo 3? I don't know. Like, release Diablo 3 was an abomination that never should have happened. But I still played it. I was really excited for it. And uh, Diablo 3 in its current iteration is... Well, there's a reason I'm playing this one instead. It's better, but it's still not, like, good, really. I think, like... It was also kind of, it seemed to have been designed more as, like, you could do this whole thing solo if you want. I don't know. This game has, like, a, the Diablo, like, the lobby system where you can browse a bunch of different, like, games and find other people's shit. That's not present at all in Diablo 3, and I just, I never really understood why not. And that's not a, a big, maybe a huge change, but it does mean it's all of a sudden harder to find other people to play with, or... Like, find a game specifically for trading items, or, uh, like, dueling, or anything. It also took them forever to implement any sort of dueling, and then when it came, it sucked. Yeah? Um, would, did you, like, how later did it come... Did it have expansions out, is what I'm trying to stutter through. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, alright, so then by the time you got it, it probably had, like... Well, it must have had the Rise of the Necromancer and, like, all, the, all that shit out. All that shit does help the game a lot. They introduce the seasons, and they... they fuck, she's gonna kick my ass. They update the seasons fairly regularly, so... when Like, any time there is a season, you can, like, go through and get a pretty kick-ass armor set for one character. That will make you able to, like, farm for other guys' gear and stuff. So, I mean, that's a cool idea. I like that it's much more accessible and easy to just jump in. But, um... And you're also, like, you're much more guaranteed to find items and stuff in Diablo 3. I don't know. I kind of, I just like the feel of this game more. Maybe it's just because I've played it for so, so long. We have to run away. My name is Piss Baby, by the way. Thought you might appreciate that. Can I use these now? Oh, alright.
Yeah. You gotta be a bit, like... It's a good name, I just can't really run from it. Just gotta accept that I'm a member of the Piss Baby family now. So we can throw these daggers. And it does, that, that's pretty good. Let's do some of that. I think we can dump five points into here. We're gonna need at least that. Um, our end target weapon for this guy is gonna be, uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, our end goal weapon for this guy is just uh, a crystal sword with six shales in it. Uh, so I think we need 25 dexterity to use that, and we're probably going to need more dexterity than that to keep hitting people eventually as we level. Fuck, stop moving. Let me throw knives at you. Wow, she's really being a bastard about this. I'm just trying to end her reign of terror. <laughs> Here lies. Oh, I, hmm. They're good kids. I was actually talking to my brother today, and he's he's into guns. He lives in the country a bit more than I. Well, I don't. I live in the city, but he lives in the country, and. Uh, I just kind of like asked him, kind of as a joke, if if you can buy an M1 Garand, and he's like, yeah, you totally can, they're about $3,000. And now he's got me thinking about buying a gun as a as an investment piece and just having him take care of it for me, because he's, he's a responsible gun owner. But like, I think I'm really susceptible to shit like that, and I'm thinking it's a good idea. And probably not. Let's see if anyone here has anything I can buy. This is pretty... I don't have nowhere near enough money for that. Why am I even looking? I don't have enough money for any of this. I don't have enough money for this. this. Alright, so our new strategy is to go in there as a wolf and try to fuck her up. Okay, we have enough portals in case this goes really badly. Ooh, sweet. And the wolf head is a druid only item, and holy shit. That's really good for us, that's that's pretty good for us right now, I'm happy about that. We'll put five points into strength, and uh, start wearing that, fuck yeah. So that's three skills, and I mean all of those are useful for us. That's lucky, poison creeper. does that spell do now? Yeah, that's a hefty improvement. That's like twice as much damage as it did before. Still, that's, we have shit mana. You know what we need? We need oh, that might be nice. But maybe. Probably not as nice as the cool fucking hammer we just bought. We need a belt, though. That would be really nice. Alright. 
So this thing still wins by... I mean, we have a better chance to hit, and I think we attack faster with this. Yeah, we'll go for that. What's the run toggle button again? R, Q, fuck. R. Normally I wouldn't bother going in these, but they have decent loot and we need, we need loot. I should also probably set hotkeys. Is my inventory out full already? Aw, oh, shucks. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. Okay. I guess that's fair. It's surprising how many good names are available in this game right now. Like, you, you know the way it works, where you can only have one person named, like, Ghost or whatever per server. I somehow, without really trying, got the name Assplay. And I think that that's something that people would be going for pretty quickly. Like, it's, that's a funny name, you know? So, I think if you've ever wanted to get, like, a super cool name in, in Diablo 2, now's the time to jump in there and see if it's available. See if we could go and buy a belt from, uh... No, wait. We get Abhaya. I don't remember how to open her portrait. Zero. There it is. It doesn't tell me anything helpful. Yeah, I mean, people do love ass play. You hear about it all the time. So, it, it, I mean, I think it's weird that no one's claimed that name yet. Come on, what's going on here? Yeah, right? I, like, I thought... I just made a test character to make sure everything was working and, like, get the resolution set and everything. And ass play was fully available. We're not going to bother going back to the... Uh, finish off the last bit of the burial grounds. We'll just march on forward. I want to hit level 6 so we can turn into a bear. And achieve our true form. Cave, motherfucker. We don't need to go in the cave. Oh, here's Bishop Bosch, though. We'll fuck him up. 
Ooh, immune to fire enemies. That's gonna be a continual problem for us as we continue to play this game. I think every bit of damage we do is fire. Maybe we just hit people so fast it doesn't matter. I think that might be the trick. So next level there's going to be two new skills available for us. So I'm going to save this skill point for that. Again? Also, yeah, I do like the choice of word frothing at the mouth for ass play. charm. I forgot, somehow, about the in incredible amount of inventory Tetris that this game entails. I was reminded quickly. And I can't even identify it. We'll, we'll look for the waypoint around here. We're gonna need that eventually. Skull. That's really... That's good. I like that. Skulls give you leech. Fuck yeah. I think... I'm not... I'm not sure, but I think we might run into some pretty serious mana issues with this dude eventually. So maybe having a perfect skull in our otherwise shaled to shit sword will, um... Help solve that problem. Maybe we won't worry about it. We'll find out. <laughs> hey man, gems are a huge part about fighting the devil. You gotta put a gem, you gotta put the devil in a gem in this series. That's just a fact. Just put some more of these mana potions on our hotbar and fuck people up with their spells. That seems to be working. Ooh, okay. The Karen stones are over here. You can see one of them on our map. Ooh, and the waypoint too. Fuck yeah. Alright. This will help as well. Karen, Car I don't know how I don't know how you want to s pronounce that. Karen stones. Karen, K Karn, Richard Karn, the Karn stones. I wonder if there's enough hosts of family, fe of family Feud now to have, like, a series of Family Feud episodes where former goat, uh, like, guests, or sorry, former hosts of Family Feud feud each other on Family Feud. 
I think I think I said what I was trying to say there. The family feud family the the family feud family. Yeah. What? No, I'm, uh, she's dead. And we might soon join her, this is bad. The Family Feud. Guest, ho, fuck, mm. uh. No, I have a hard time wrapping my head around how you would pitch that to someone. I think I'd probably just look at them weird in an elevator and then start swearing. That's not going to get you a job. Okay, uh, how much mana does this cost? Fucking a lot. Jesus, we don't have that much mana. Ten per cast? Well, we'll still try it. That's a pretty classic D&D &D spell, or style spell. memory serves. Uh, for whatever reason, you get really fast attack speed with uh, this Bardiche type weapon when you're a uh, wolf. So let's pick this up and go identify it and see if that's true. We're nowhere near strong enough to use that. Never mind. I mean, I guess our gear's fine, for the time being. We're not going to bother worrying about resurrecting our uh, fallen buddy back there. We'll get our more permanent mercenary in Act 2, I imagine. I'm just going to leave 80 whole gold sitting on the floor. It is a pain how often you have to stop and regain stamina in the, early, in the really early levels of this game. Fuck, I can become a bear now. What am I doing not doing that? Flee. Oh, 
I love the running around animation for this thing. That's pretty dopey the way it's arm swing. Next time we're in town, remind me, well, I'll remind me that I should put these things away. All right, is this better now? Probably not, right? We don't need Werewolf anymore that this one offers. And we don't, uh, Lycanthropy is probably better. Let's do that. interesting back there. There's a, I believe there's a second floor of this place that sometimes has some pretty cool shit in it. Or I'm thinking of one of the many very similarly laid out places in the first act. I think it's this one though. We're right here anyway. Might as well check it out. starting to come together pretty quickly. As soon as we got bear form, we're just fucking smashing people in the face pretty good. I like it. Another skull, good. And what level do we get? Fire paws? Oh, okay, 18. So that's still pretty far away. Um, I guess we'll just keep leveling up this one. That's very bad. Let's run away. Alright, um, just, I put that down because I feel like we might die down here and I don't want to have to run back. Oh god. Alright, um, let's change up our strategy a little bit. Alright, that worked. So this hunter's bow being rare 
means that I guess we will go revive our uh, mercenary buddy. She can use that, and that might might help us a little bit. I don't know. I'll take all the free help I can get. The f well, I am going to be a, a big old flaming bear. Yep. That's the most concise way you could put it, too. Really no point in putting anything in that shield at the moment. Let's go talk to Charcy. Alright, we'll put a few more points in Vitality, because we're getting hurt sometimes. And I, I think it's 25 Dexterity for the crystal sword, so we'll give ourselves that much. Put another five here, and dump the last in strength. And that's a pretty cool shield, but it um, is all of our money. Let's stick with what we got. Okay, so seeing her use that little spell she just did makes me think I got the short end of the stick with my mercenaries. There's, as I remember, three different kinds you can get. There's, like, fire arrow, which we wouldn't want, ice arrow, and then, like, true sight aura or some shit, and I think we got the true sight aura one. Or, I think, I don't know exactly what it does, but it's not all that useful, especially compared to someone who could occasionally be shooting, like, Frost arrows, which would be nice considering we only do fire damage. But uh, whatever, she's not going to stick around all that long anyway. Stamina potion, okay. I normally just leave those on the ground, but right now that lets us run. Let's use that and get out of this dark, dark cave. I'm not Tony Stark, I'm not gonna do my best work down here. Out of the dark cave and into the dark woods. Hell yeah. Alright, so we're looking for a big old tree and uh, the waypoint. And this giant encampment full of easily burnable corpses. And there's the tree! Look at that. Truly we are blessed on this day. Oh, she's not blessed. I think we just have to run until we have enough mana to turn into a bear. Oh, but they're gonna catch us now. We need 15 mana. 10. Fuck. Okay. Nope. We're going in the cave again. You know what? I'm getting a call. I think I should probably take it. I'll 
I'll do that. Okay. Where is my thing? Okay, I'm back. Um, my girlfriend's out of town, and uh, she, I just got like four calls in a row from her, so I'm like, shit, I guess I should check that out. And I think she just needs help figuring out how to make an aux cord work. And I'm like, I don't know, lady, I think that one's on you. you plug it in, and then you plug it on the other end. But she also didn't pick up when I tried to call her, so what am I going to do? Alright, scepters are nice because they're a paladin on the item and uh, can have skills on them because of that. So this one doesn't, but they can be pretty valuable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she could try calling the internet. <laughs> oh well. She'll, she'll figure it out, or someone will. There's there's other people there. Someone can... I refuse to believe that everybody, like out of everyone there, no one's encountered an aux cord in their lives. So I know this is kind of out of nowhere. Fuck, she's calling back. All right, I gotta, I gotta take it. Oh, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Fuck. All right, it's okay. Yeah, she's like, I can't figure out how to plug it in. There's no plugs for it in the back. And I'm like, okay, well, if there's no plugs for it, there's really no solution that I can offer you over the internet. Uh, I think you need a different cable. But the standard aux cable 
it, as most understand it, it's like got the feet, the red and whites on the back, and then like a plug into like your average phone, like headphone jack sort of thing. Uh, I don't know if that, that if they needed something else. That's I failed them. Shit. Beyond that, yeah, everything should be fine. I imagine it'll work out. I hope. So we're still looking for the waypoint here. I guess we could just... Technically, we don't need to come back here, so we don't really need it. We could just go to the next zone and look for it there instead. And if we don't find it in this top corner, that'll be our only option. I hate how slow this attack speed is. Okay, we're leaving without the waypoint. That's fine. Since, again, we're doing like a solo thing, so we're, we're never going to need to come back here for any reason. There's, I, I think in the next zone, that's where the Countess's Tower is, so we might, we might come back there later, but here in particular, nah, there's not really a lot. Alright, so that shrine's fun. That should have made an enemy around here a champion. But I thought usually it just spawned a champion on top of you. Oh, there it is. Is her name Sinskin? Ah, oh, now we'll never know. Oh, Ed, look at that. Waypoint on the way out. Nice. Well, actually, I guess it makes sense to go, since we found the waypoint, and go back and save Kane and do all that kind of crap now. Break our addiction to the uh, scroll of identify. Get out of get out from underneath big identify's thumb. I forgot to talk to the tree and get the thing out of it. Nope, wrong one. Okay, so now we can go rescue Kane. And fight Griswold and visit Tristram. It's gonna be nice. So it's one, two, three, four, five. But can't you just imagine that like March of the Elephant song? As this guy walks around swinging those big dopey arms.
hit, please. Oh no, here's Griswold. There's usually a lot more other enemies around here. single player sometimes you can type like set players eight or whatever and then it'll set the difficulty and experience and all that kind of shit to as if there were eight people in the game but that doesn't work in battlenet and i'm not surprised by that that could be really exploitable or would be fight those guys in a tire tire. Not bad. Uh, we could kill more guys here. You can get a lot of experience out of a Tristram, but I'm not going to bother. Let's just keep pushing forward. We all know what Kane says there. Basically, he's like, I couldn't do anything to save Tristram. Uh, shocks. And then he sounds sad, and he t tells us that he'll identify our stuff for free. if I won't even bother carrying this thing anymore. I guess we might as well. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. So, okay, back to the dark woods and onwards. Okay, Countess's Tower. Um, it's kind of hard, but I think we should do it, because we are going to need Shale Runes eventually. And, uh, you know, it's, this is a good place to find them. I'm not sure if there's a guaranteed rune drops on this difficulty, but probably. These guys are scary, though. They move very quickly. I don't like that. Jawbone cap. There we go. Okay. 
Alright, just because we are using the spell a fair bit, let's dump some more points into that one. It's right over there. All right, let's see. There's five floors to this thing, so we're getting, I guess you could call this the halfway point. See you later, dude. Thanks for dropping in. Here we are. Let's drop a town portal. I'm not all that confident we have enough mana to do this safely. I don't think we do. Did a great job actually. It didn't kill all of them, but a fair amount. I'm still gonna have to run away and buy more mana potions, but we can probably get off one more attack before we do. Oh, yes, Kane. Forgot about that. Hello.
That spell's so good for clearing trash. I gotta remember that. Oh, and it worked on the Countess too. Alright, Tal and Ith. Not great. I think oh, it's going to be a long time before we can use either of them anyway. But I was going to say, I think Ith could be kind of helpful because that's... No, I thought it was minimum damage. Nine maximum damage is cool. Nine minimum damage I think is better. Neat. Handled. Let's go drop some of this stuff off and then uh, continue on our way. Might as well use that. We can sell it whenever we get something better. But in the meantime, it'll shave off a little bit of the damage we take. Nothing like game changing, but also we might as well take it. Crap. So the road should lead us to the next zone, so we'll just stick to that. Uh, no, I want the waypoint for this zone. I'm not going to bother all the time, but uh, again, Countess, we're going to probably come back here a couple times. Eventually, looking for more runes and stuff from her. Thank you. Nope. Come on. There we go. Try to get a decent group around me before I do this. Oh, come on. <laughs> and then it blows up on the first one. Alright, well, I, I killed a fair amount of them anyway. Hmm. Okay, there's the exit. This is a big group. Let me give him some candy.
For all that work, it seemed like just hitting him in the face worked better. Oh well. Check out what this is. I don't care about that at all. <laughs> that doesn't help. Well, I guess it helps 6% in poison resistance, but whatever. Throwing knives. Again, I, I gotta check if they actually sell for a lot, or if that's just something I'm remembering from some weird mod at some point. Nice, nice. Check out this scimitar. If I had more sockets, maybe. But, I mean, this thing we're hitting people with now does... Does a fair amount of damage, it seems. Tricky choice. Well, not really. I mean, I think the extra experience is better. Where is this thing? Oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, I went right by it ages ago. Oh, oh. What are you gonna do? At least we're free from this zone now, with that new knowledge. This is the first zone outside of, like, you know, the barrel grounds or whatever that doesn't have its own uh, waypoint. We're gonna encounter more of those as we go. This pit here uh, is, and like, probably not on normal, but on Nightmare and, or on Hell, it's supposed to have some of the like best loot available in it. Uh, so why don't we, why don't we just check if that holds true here? But anyway, so next level we have. One, two, three skills we need to learn. So that's why we're holding on to our skill points for the moment. Stamina shrine. All right, 
right, let's check if that wolf head has anything useful for us on it. No, it doesn't. Ooh. I don't like this situation. Let's remove ourselves from it. This is just as bad. There's an army of guys that just resurrect in front of us before we get to get... Okay, that's a useful target, at least. Getting confused with the many buttons available to me in Diablo 2. shamans before we dive too far into these this whole group of people. Identify. We did. Let's check that out. These potions are kind of helpful. They seem to kill things pretty well for us at this moment, so we'll, uh, we'll hold on to some of those. That puke claw. Level 11, almost level 12. Okay, that worked out better than I thought it did, or would. Okay, this is... This is one of those situations where we're going to go buy a bunch of mana potions before we try to dive back in there. I'm starting to think we need mana potions more than we need health potions, even. And also health potions seem to drop all the time, so we're not... We're not ever really short on those. Maybe we could also get a... No, we can't get a better belt yet. And by better, I mean one with more, um, slots for potions. Mm. 
I think we might be able to make that into a pretty decent weapon. So Charcy just gave us a new quest. She'll make a rare item for us. That's pretty helpful. It's not bad. It's certainly not bad. I just wonder if we should hold off on using it until... Like, actually getting the quest reward until much, much later when this character's... Uh, wants endgame gear. And it will probably never be, like, the best item we're ever going to get, but considering I'm trying to do this as solo as possible, maybe I should hold off on, like, a guaranteed rare item on an item of my choice. I can't do it on rings, though. It's got to be, like, a weapon or armor. No jewelry. Although, I mean, like, something like this. If I find, like, a, a wolf head that has good stats, it's probably a good idea to save the rare item upgrade guarantee thingy she gives you for that. Three to four, one to three. I was kind of hoping for two of these, but that's not an option. Let's do this. Yeah, okay. That'll be good when we're in bear form too, since this thing attacks quickly. Let's try it out. There we go. Tests are still in their early stages, but I'm pleased with the results. I'm an awful time hitting anybody. We'll dump, dump a few more points into dexterity. What's our chance right now? Nine, okay, 95, I guess, now that we put those points in. But it certainly wasn't that a second ago. We missed that one guy like seven times in a row. So we'll celebrate level 12 as soon as we deal with this pack here. Alright, health potions, please. Ah. This death dance of the dark. Strangling gas potion might help us out as well. So we are finished in there. We didn't get anything, anything cool. But hey, we're all the bit closer to fire claws now. If I recall too, I think this um, this spell's pretty good. That's a lot of mana, but I think it's pretty good. Oops, the F1, F2, there you go. And I guess we could maul? We're gonna run out of mana so quickly if we do that. Still, let's try it out. Ooh. 
we we get the green arb of joy. Yeah, let's stick with this because stunning enemies is good. What does Maul do? Yeah, stuns people, gives us a damage bonus and a, a bonus to chance to hit. We need all of that stuff, so hell yeah. I wonder if we'll get Fire Claws before we fight the boss, and Dariel that is. Okay, there's a lot of dudes here. Let's pop out of this form and try out our new spell. Hey, it's working pretty well. Although it's kind of lucky. It's like down to luck or not, it seems. Whether it hits the guy you really want to hit or not. I'll do it eventually. Bump back into town, get rid of this stuff, and pick up some more mana potions. There's two sockets here. Five percent mana stolen per hit might mean that we can just whack away on people forever with um, with Maul. I'd say it's worth it to find out. Oh yes, the mana potions. Let's not forget about those. Yeah. 
I'm not seeing these huge gains on the mana. It is helping me do it a little bit long. Oh, fuck. I bought, <laughs> I bought a bunch of health potions. Whoops. So, this game has a lot of cool details in it, in different weird places, and one of those being that there's a bunch of secret areas in this, well, there can be secret areas in this, um, like, once you get into, I guess starting here, yeah, there'll be some false walls, maybe it starts in the jail, which is the next zone that we're heading into, but it might be here as well. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for them. Ooh, a hawk helm. Is that good for us? Mm, yeah, it is. I mean, it's not bad. I think the thing we already have already has like uh, yeah, already has lycanthropy on it. It has two cast. It has two fucking skills of raven, and we just haven't been using ravens at all. Probably do that. No reason not to. Thing's so slow. A little more attack speed would be nice, but I don't want to give up on that little bit of mana efficiency we're feeling right now. Oh, he killed my raven. As I mentioned a while ago, crystal sword, like a, a crystal sword is eventually what we're going to be using. Uh, I think you actually need something like uh, 125 dexterity to be to use a phase blade. What we want in the end is um, is is like the upgraded version of a crystal sword uh, with six sockets. So that would be great. Phase blades are especially good because they uh, already have a great attack speed, and they have no durability, which is going to be important for this guy. When, when I like, in the event that I get that fucking uh, six shield phase blade that I'm looking for, this guy's attack speed it will look like his arm isn't connected to his body. Like right now, it's obviously painfully slow, but it'll just be like, you, you know, if you've ever seen like a, a video of a cat fighting something and then. It slows down so you can actually see the cat striking. It's pretty much that, you know? But you're a bear and your fl claws are on fire and it does a lot of damage. We should be coming up on the. Uh, Blacksmith man? What's his name? The Smith, in a second. What's his name? Oh yes, The Smith. Mm hmm okay. Alright, so there's a hero unit around here somewhere. Ooh. 
This is a busy room. I think I'll excuse myself. Or try to, jeez. Still more scary people than there. That's the jail. Okay, you know, that means the smith is probably just through this door to our left there. To the approximate left. If he's super far back, I don't know if I'll go back. I probably should. Oh wait, he's, yeah, he's right there, okay. Good. I don't want him to make weapons for my bones. Come on. I can win this DPS race. This very slow DPS race. I hope. Charcy. I might as well head back to town. We have an extra. We have so many town portals that we can't even fit them all in our book. It's hard to resist. I'm not even going to check if it's better. I just want to use the one that has all the cool numbers on it. Nothing great for us there. And now we have the quest to go kill Andariel. Cool. We're level what? 12 now? Yeah. I don't know if we're going to get six more levels before we get down to Andariel, but it would certainly help things if we did. Attack speed so nice. Look at that swamp. Yeah, I don't know why I decided swamp is the noise that a bear makes when it hits people, but it's also a geographical location. Okay, we're gonna get out of the way 
of those um, archers, so I can not just be in recovery at animations constantly. These ghosts suck. They, uh, when they hit you, they steal your mana and heal themselves. So they, uh, they can really screw you up if you're a caster type, and, uh, you know, it, just can, it can be pretty rough. Luckily, we don't have to rely on that too much, but it still was not a pleasant experience. Alright, so I have... I had a thought. I'm not sure where we want to be spending all of our points necessarily. Like, obviously in the end we're going to want to max this out, but it has four synergies, so that will be like a hundred skill points. Throughout the, like At max level I think you can get something like 112, 115 or something like that. So that's going to pretty, like we're not going to get max level. So that's going to push it, and I wonder if it would be, like I don't know what the best, smartest way to put all these skills out there is. I think people kind of want... It would probably not be a bad idea to have Oak Sage or Heart of the Wolverine with me as well. At very least Oak Sage, so I'll put a skill there for now. I, I remember the basic idea of this build. I don't remember the specifics, and I refuse to look it up right now. We won't get... It, it won't be possible to screw the character up beyond repair. So I'm not too worried about it. They did add in this super cool feature where there's rerolls for your guys now. For the longest time there was nothing of the sort, and if, um, I don't know, let's say a patch came out that changed the way a skill worked, or uh, in the case of like old necromancers, there was that Marowak glitch forever. When that came out, that kind of like just kind of ruined a bunch of max level characters, you know. Now you could reroll that character into like a fun summoner necromancer or whatever else you wanted. Very nice change. It's weird that they made it so long after this game was being played by most people. Alright, this is a bad situation. We're gonna run away from them. Get our jewel identified. Where's... He's hiding with the, behind the fire there. Requirements negative fifteen percent. That's that's an okay jewel. Jewels can be extremely good. There's I think it's probably a duped jewel, but there's one that I think that has like like oh, I don't know like thirty percent increased damage and fifteen percent increased attack speed, and people love it. That's great. Oh, wait, that's not how we're going to deal with this. I gotta say, the flexibility of having like some pretty decent melee attacks and then also good cloud or crowd clearing AoE spells is really nice. This character is much more versatile than I expected to be at this stage. Mana potion. I 
I'm really, there's a waypoint on this floor. I'm hoping I find it just because it will tickle my brain if at the end of this I have all the waypoints for this act. I feel like it's all the way to the south. Let's, I have no reason to think that, but I do. So let's let's check it out. I gotta not sit like that. That's the so bad for my legs and my back and my entire body. I've played way too much of this game. I wonder if I can... Alright. Look, okay, there's only one place where the stairs can be. It's gotta be in this region up here. Since we've explored literally everything else. I'm running from this big scary group of fallen. I think I saw... I was wrong. I thought I saw shine on the map over here. I don't. Now I'm just trapped. Oh god. Alright. Panicking a little bit? Just a little bit. We'll be okay. There you go, look at that. It worked out better than I expected. I don't want to have to go back to town for more mana potions. We've barely found any cool loot since we last went back. This is one of those secret areas I was talking about. You can definitely see that there's dudes crawling around inside there. It looks like there's fallen or something. But the, if we can... Uh, 
One second. Drink every potion we have real quick and just keep beating these guys up. Okay, now, now we run. Now, yeah, oh, it's not the right way to run. So I'm guessing right here, yeah, click that, slide in. And I shouldn't have done that right now, but hey, that's the secret door thing I was talking about. Why am I spending money on identifying items? Hell yeah, get some of that classic Diablo 2 music. Okay, so before we dive back in, I'm going to take a break, grab, uh, grab a drink, and go to the washroom. We'll be back in just a moment.
All right. I don't know what the critics say, but I think Coke tastes better in a glass bottle. There's a little convenience store right near my house that uh, sells Coke in glass bottles, and it's probably too expensive, but I think it tastes better. So every now and then, go for it. up our tactics a little bit here. There's a lot of dudes. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. A lot of kind of just smaller enemies around here, so I think some AoE damage will be uh, what we're looking for, you know? Yeah, there's usually not a lot in these secret rooms, but I still just think they're cool. I think it's neat that someone made a little, you know, secret area for you to find out. Find. Let me give this meat stick nub, uh, meat stick nub to my dog. There you go. She was waiting patiently. Ooh, a rare javelin. We probably won't use that, and javelins tend to not sell for very much. Um, maybe it's cool. I don't know. We'll find out when we go back to town. Ooh, these guys suck. Those arbs they shoot out can really, really hurt. Rejuvenation potions are nice. They work a little differently than the other two types in that they heal immediately. The other ones like fill up a bar, you know, and then you get that healing over a period of time. Not so with rejuvenation potions. That's that's why they're the favorite of, um, you know, high-end content. If I weren't doing like a solo self-found thing, it might... Like, if you're trying to play this game today and starting from scratch, there's a big part of it is trading, right? Like, you're going to need... Like, I'm going to be gimped forever because I'm not trading. It's unlikely that this build will ever, it will, will ever be optimal, is what I was trying to say there. Jesus. Um, but that's, that's fine for this build. That's kind of why I chose this one. It should be okay with just, like, some pretty easy-to-find stuff. Uh, but if I weren't doing that... It wouldn't be a bad idea to just, like, save every rejuvenation potion you find. Because you can later put three rejuvenation potions in the Roger Cube that you get in the next act and uh, combine them into a full rejuvenation potion. And then you can, like, trade 40... Like, a, like a, this, is four, this is 40 spaces here. So you can change and trade an inf inventory full of um, four rejuvenation potions. Not for a lot, but for something. And over time, that'll be enough to get you going if that's a path you want to take. It's an option. So we're at 13 now. Yeah, I really doubt we're going to get another 5 levels before we get to Andariel, but we might. With a bit of luck. Or, uh, bad luck in not finding the stairs fast enough. It depends on how you want to look at that one, I guess. What's going on there? It wasn't letting me cast through the door. Okay, things are turning bad. Rejuvenation potion? Yes. Victory.
Northeast, maybe. I'd really love a bigger belt. As soon as we can get another belt, like we can have up to four slots. So four by four is what? Uh, I should know that. 16? So we can have up to 16 uh, potions. Right now we're stuck at eight. So we burn through them real fast. Turn on my speakers a little bit. I don't need to hear the bear noises as loud as you guys are probably hearing the bear noises. Nice. Okay, here's the outer er, inner cloister, sorry. And there's gonna be another waypoint right in front of us. This one's static, it's always in the same place. Same with um, Outer Cloister. All right, let's check out that rare javelin we got. Nothing special. <laughs> Alright, we'll put our skull away and get back in there. That was close. I was at first considering doing like a hardcore character as well as everything else. Um, I decided against that because of exactly that kind of thing. There's a lot of enemies that release big scary death novas and I would be, I would be sad if that's how I lost a character. And it would be totally fair, I mean the game does it all the time, you know it's, you know it's a possibility, but it would still suck and I'd be sad, so I'm not going to put myself through that. Let's take a second look at our skills again. Elemental. Nothing there again for us until 24. 18 here. Okay. So I'm liking this ability to. Maybe we'll put another point in there eventually. So that'll be 60, 80. Yeah, we could do that. We can max out these three at least. And again, if we screw up, we have. There's. Like Adria, a, a, no, I don't remember her name. The lady in the town, I thought I knew it. She uh, gives you one free reroll after you finish the uh, Den of Evil quest on each difficulty. So that's three for each dude, and then you can get more later through uh, like Uber Diablo stuff, or it's Uber Tristram, I guess. That's going to be a bit beyond our reach. Uh, on this character at least but hey whatever we probably won't need that many Ooh, I heard a chip damage vest
Alright, so there's a waypoint on this level. We're gonna look for that. Do I still have a stamina potion? No. Oh well. Something tells me the waypoint's not in this direction. That it might be. I'll watch it be, and after I explore every other aspect, like every other corner of this map, that's where it is. I think this is the first time we've seen the spiders. The spiders kind of suck too. Aha, there it is. Sweet. Okay. Now to find uh, the stairs down. I think, I can't remember if there's three or four floors here. I think it's four. I think the exit is up in that area where I said the waypoint isn't. So we'll head in that general direction. They'll probably... Whatever. It's at least north. Some kind of north. But I guess we should check things methodically instead of just rushing all over the place. Yeah. Okay. Good call.
I, that was the third time I tried to open that casket. Let's grab that zombie head and then I was going to say head back to town. Seven percent better chance is not a lot, but hey, I'll take it. Whatever. And then we'll drop some shit off at our uh, stash over here, get our crap repaired at Chelsea, and head back in. Yes. We can also go talk to Geed down here. Hello, Geed. Geed is the gamble man. That? Hey. I'm okay with that. That worked out pretty well. How much strength did we for this thing? 43. Hmm. Hmm. Shit. Well, I'm sure we can find something that will solve that problem for us. Hey, this will solve one problem for us. This will give us a third. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. All right, so we'll worry about that um, not having enough strength issue when we level up, I guess. We're going to need strength eventually, so it's not a it's not terrible. Still disappointing to be one strength away. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and find a charm, or literally anything with plus one strength on it. Okay, cool. I drop a town portal because this certainly will not go very well. I'm going to be as safe as I can about this and try to clear out all of the little, you know, I want to make sure I have a clear path back to that town portal should I need it. Too many guys there. Let's try this. Mm. 
That's probably not a bad way to go in. Try to clear off some of the weaker trash with this before we, uh, I guess, pick, kill the rest of the stragglers. Please die. Okay, good. There she is. Okay, wow. Just making her walk around on this lava vent thing is doing the trick. That went so much better than I would have expected it to. Hey, the nice thing about this crystal sword is that since it's uh, ethereal, and it, I mean it can't be repaired, so it's going to break eventually and be broken forever, but since it's ethereal it has lower stats, stat requirements, and I can use it immediately. And I doubt it will break before we level up. So we can talk to everyone here, they're all going to shake our hand and tell us we're the greatest, most handsome person that's ever lived. But I don't need that kind of praise. Let's continue. Okay, so this is Act 2. We got Andariel down in just over two hours. That's not... I was hoping I would have got her down a lot faster than that, honestly, but here we are all the same. So what does that do for our damage? We can't tell right now, but 18 to 51 from 3 to 21. Okay, a significant improvement, you might say. This weapon's a little less good than this one, but whatever. It'll break, so who cares? We're going to need a replacement for it no matter what. We can probably afford to put this one in our stash for now. Now, Atma is going to tell us that there's a scary man named Radaman in the sewers that we should go kill, and she's right. He is scary, and we should kill him. Uh, now, I don't really remember. I don't remember who, which. Okay, so these guys are great because they have auras, and that's great. Those auras can affect you too. I don't remember what auras each of them has though. I know that they're different depending on what difficulty you're on and whether they're defensive, offensive, or combat. Um, why don't we just why don't we just see what Gulzar is like? His aura should turn on in a moment or so, and we'll be able to tell if we want him or not. Her rune, I think, is mana after kill. Yeah. Please. There you go. Contact. I'm surprised his aura hasn't turned on yet. That's okay. 
Maybe he's not on a high enough level to use it yet. Skill Shrine, cool. Let's go get more potions before I pick that up, though. And also, you know, there's a second path into the sewers. We should take that. It's generally a lot closer to the stairs than the one we took in. Oh, but I want the Skill Shrine. Alright, never mind. We also need the experience anyway. Still have, well, I guess if you want to count this, still four more levels till we can get our lovely fire claws. He does not very much damage. But next time we see any sort of pole arm on the ground, two-handed pole arm anyway, we'll throw it his way and help him out a little bit. I guess we'll just put one in Fisher since we're using it so much right now. Ooh, a grand charm. It's probably nothing great, but we should check it out. Hey, look at that. And that'll let us use our, um, Excuse me. Use that other crystal sword we found without having to put more stuff into strength, which is good because we desperately need more attack. Dexterity. Like I assume most people are fairly familiar with this game, but all the same, dexterity increases your chance to hit. And um, yeah, we're missing a butt ton, so that would help. Help a little bit at least. And we're also going to need, in the end, quite a bit of uh, dexterity to use our ideal weapon. And again, we don't need too much for this build to make it really work. I, th I think, like, there's some cool uniques that would definitely help, yeah. But the most key part of it, as I remember, is, um... Yeah, just a phase blade with a bunch of attack speed. And even that, I guess you could swap out for something else that has a bunch of attack speed.
Ja. I saw the video for Avril Lavigne's girlfriend today. Uh, what a what a piece of trash song. This it sucks. I mean, I know it's not news that Avril Lavigne doesn't make great music, but I'd forgotten how much I dislike that song. The music video, she's like dancing around, just being kind of shitty. And you think if someone was go came up to you and were like, hey. I think you should date me instead of your current girlfriend. You'd be like, okay, psychopath, what the fuck? Like, that's not a cool thing to say or do or a good way to meet a partner, you know? And you just gotta wonder about that kind of messaging. Irresponsible of you, Avril Lavigne. No shit. I was hoping we were 16. Okay, that's fine. We're still getting there. I'm pretty sure 3 is the last floor of this place as well, so we're getting close to Radiment. It's like the 19th refilling shrine we've brought to come across. Alright, this looks like him. And indeed it is. We'll go try to maul him to death. This is taking a while. We don't have enough mana to maul efficiently. Ah! No, no. God. Luckily, poison can't kill you, and you can't die in town. Otherwise, I think we'd be, um, we'd be in trouble right now. There's our reward, the Book of Skill. Also story-wise, yay cool or Roderick Scroll. Uh, that points us towards the um, Roderick Cube. And I think I saw Aunt Matma uh, tells everyone in the town that we killed the thing that killed her husband. And then we get better prices from all the vendors. Man, my eyes. One second. There we go. That kind of helped.
Size of measure. Plus four to minimum damage seems pretty good. Oh, our buddy's dead. That's why I can't check his inventory. Alright, one second here. This is driving me nuts. Okay, there you go. I rubbed my little eyes a little bit. I'm feeling, feeling okay. This fellow's just kicking ass out here. Stony tomb. All right, we don't need to go in here. Let's not. Yeah. This spell seems ridiculously powerful. It's just crushing people. It doesn't aim very well. It's hard to kill specifically the dude you want to kill with it. But it seems to be pretty good for um, crushing crowds of enemies pretty quick. Can't complain. Alright, this looks like the path to the next zone. Dry hills. Uh, shit, let's check this. Yeah, dry hills, okay. Check that. If... Yeah, okay, cool. This will probably sell for a decent amount, and we need stuff that sells for a decent amount. Okay, combat shrine. All right. I think that means it's time for bear form for a little bit. Come on. There we go. It sucks to miss when your swing takes like four seconds to complete.
Aha, here's what we're looking for. So similar to the uh, undead shaman, not undead, uh, fallen shamans in the last area, these hollow ones can resurrect any undead thing. So that sucks. Please hit one of them. There you go. You motherfuckers. I feel like I'm having a weird connection or something if those guys are able to hit me from that distance. Who knows? Something, Something's going on there. We'll just let that mummy sarcophagus, sarcophagus do its thing. Alright, back to town for those potions. Dang, dang. It happened fast. Yeah. That's the most this can sell for at this point. Yeah, class items tend to sell for quite a bit more because they can have skills on them. The exception to that rule, for whatever reason, is assassin-only items. They are treated by the game like garbage. Like, you can see that thing was worth $37. Naturally, stuff that is unidentified isn't going to be worth a whole lot most of the time, but still 37 is low. Like, I don't know if that was a mistake at some point, but... I could see if we can find an example here. Six hundred dollars for this, or four hundred for this. It's just they're not worth much. Well, it's physically got to be the last direction. So that's, that's good. Progress. And we're almost level 16. I like that I can just drop these and keep walking. Cool. And it's staying this. I like this spell. It's staying solid at 15 ca uh, ca mana 
for cast. That's nice. It's not too, too much for us. It's, well, we could cast it four times before we're out of mana. So it's kind of a lot for us, but hey. It does the trick. Sometimes. He's doing an awful shitty job hitting this guy at all. Alright, let's keep moving. I want to kill him though. Maybe if I cast it sort of around him instead of on him, it'll hit him. Or is he just in the golden boy? He's healing more than I'm hurting him. I'm leaving. He can stay alive. Nice, I'm always a fan of having waypoints. In this game's all just for watching numbers go up and the satisfaction of like finishing a rune word or something like that. And I think, um, oh shit. Okay, this is working, yeah, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, and just like having all the waypoints is kind of an extension of that thing, you know? This guy sucks a whole lot of nuts. He's really hurting my feelings. Let's try a different spell. This does... It's not great. It doesn't do a lot of damage anymore. It did a lot of damage in the first act, but that was a while ago now. We'll, we'll try it on him. If that doesn't work, we can try to maul him, but I want to stay out of his poison breath, because that's very, very painful. Oh yeah. Yay. I'm doing great at finding the right path in the last possible place it could be. No, I'm doing it on purpose. I'm looking for all the possible experience. Yeah.
I wonder how much. Oh, good. I was about to wonder how much we, of this we could clear with the one potion we had left. But with four potions, I think we can keep ourselves going for a bit longer. This definitely looks like what we were looking for. Yeah, it is. Great. Still, I think we should finish clearing this place that we're in. There's just one path left, and there's some pretty good stuff here, I think. There's probably a big shiny box at the end. Cool. So now that we have the cube, we're on our way to build, or find both halves of the Staff of Kings. And we can use that to open the boss chamber, but not before some some stuff in between those two things. Man, we're just ruining these people's days. Fisher, cool. Alright, so we... I thought there was going to be more to this place than there turned out to be. I just want to check where our next waypoint is after this. Mm, gotta check that noise. Yeah, I know, I've got a, quite a treasure there. In that Horodra cube. Yeah, it's a slightly better shield. Let's go for it. And you know what else we can do that? We have a cube. This. Yeah, three of any of the same type of gem go into the next rank, up to perfect. Again, I imagine most people know that. This game's older than any of my nieces or nephews, but still worth mentioning. Mm, that's not enough, shit. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's all the gem combining we can do at the moment. And I also think that's where I'm going to call it for the, the now. Um, I had a lot of fun playing Diablo, uh, so I think I'm going to do that again. Or do this again. And hopefully next time we'll be able to actually get Fire Claws. We're temptingly close right now, but... It's going to take us a while to get the rest of the way. Okay, so, yeah, we'll come back with more Diablo next time. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. See you later.